Bueno mi gente, saludito, bienvenido a nuestro canal otra vez. Estamos aquí en el lago Michigan, rentamos un charter boat y estamos pescando ahora uh, para salmón, coho salmon. Te lo digo, este lago parece como si fuese un mar, un mar. Eh, es algo precioso. Este, está bien nublado, está frito, aquí adentro está dando más bien, pero más que nos salgamos para afuera, está un poquito más, más chapi, va a estar más, tú sabes, eh, las olas van a ser más, más altas. And away we go. I'm trying to catch these fine folks some fish today. And a uh, little cloudy, but it should be a nice day today. So I hope we have a good time. Yeah. Captain Stay Dan. Captain, Captain Dan, I have been doing this since college. I'm 62. You have to be 18 to do it with passengers aboard. So you need a license, and uh, believe it or not, I have more time fishing on Lake Michigan, Great Lakes, most likely, than anyone on the planet. Uh, there are a lot of good other people, but the fact is I have the most time because of the duration I've been doing it, 44 years. So I'll see if my experience can help us catch some fish this morning. It's been a little slower this year because the water temperature is a big factor and a condition in catching fish and we're a little behind a typical year because of our cold spring. And so we're gonna try to catch some coho, silver salmon they call those on the west coast and maybe there'll be some lake trout biting. Also the Chinook salmon, that's the big one and uh, we might have a chance to catch uh, one or two of those, if we're lucky, those run about 15 pounds. So we got two types of salmon. There's actually three trout. There's a brown trout and a rainbow trout. So they are available, but we haven't been catching many of those. If we get a trout today, I think most likely it would be a lake trout. So we're gonna try to have some fun. Awesome. We're here, we're at Captain Dan, um, out of Port Washington, Lake Michigan and we are going for some salmon, salmon. coho coho salmon um, best ones right they eat they're the best eaten ones the bigger ones are the chinook salmon or they're also called king salmon and they can get real real big check this out guys six pounds right there look at that Wow. That was a couple of years ago. That was probably the biggest one caught on the lake for about 10 years, actually. So yeah, right now what we're doing is we're trolling around um, a couple of bites here and there. Yeah. And the reason is is because the water temperature in here and the alewives are. That's what we have on the sonar. All this stuff here. This is all alewives. They come in this time of year to spawn. And that's why they're in here. So my parents are flying in from Puerto Rico today. They get here later on in the afternoon, so get some sleep, and then after that, just head out and see my parents. Um, they've been gone since last April, um, and a couple of months after, that's when Maria happened. So I haven't seen them um, after that. So it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting, pretty interesting day. So. We're not going back empty-handed. There you go. Yeah. We're not skunks. Now, I'm folks, not going to get in trouble. Now, hold your rod up. <laughs> this is what we're trying to catch. This oh, is the size, a... and it can come a little bigger. I don't want to say they're all going to be the size. No, but that's But a... this is the size that a lot of them will be running this time of year. 
good eater. This is a very good eater. And uh, come on over next to me. I'm gonna make it look big for the people at home at that picture there. To, here, stand over here. I got it. <laughs> come over on, on this side. The the there we go. We got one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the big that's the biggest killer on this lake. Well, yeah, I would say, you know, you must <laughs> I gotta remember what, what I'm looking at. Now guys, this is a special fish. These are the king. Yes. These are the big ones. Yes. Get up against the back. Just take, take 20 minutes or more to get these in. 20 minutes later. Stop. Stop. Oh, this is a big one. Walk back. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Hang on. Lift your rod up. There we go. My arm hurts so much. I told you. Oh my gosh. Now you see, after all that, he was barely hooked. Look at that. I know. Look at my barely. See, that's why you had a fight. Why do you stand there? We'll get you in the pictures now. We'll make it look good for all the folks at home. Excellent. Oh, that is, I, I worked for that fish. <laughs>
este, fuimos a buscar las chamaquitas, como ven atrás. Y entonces este, vamos a rumbo para ver a mi papá y a mi mamá. Como les dije a ustedes, no lo he visto a ellos desde abril del año pasado. Un par de meses después de eso, se fueron de aquí a pasar un, un, un huracán que se llama María. Ya tú supiste todo el desastre que María causó en Puerto Rico. Pues ahora vamos para casa de mi tía porque lo están esperando allá y lo puedo volverlo. Y a couple of months later, boom, huracán María. Mm -hmm. so, imagínate el excitement de verlo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi. Bueno, that was you remember her name? From the Ice King Rain. precioso experiencia con the Well. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never, 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 never fished like that. So it was really cool to be my first time and first get a nice big fish like that. That was cool. It's just so exciting. Yeah, I'm never And really then I was that. just like, you know what? My coworker told me, he was like, listen, um, she's going to get tired. So if you want, you can go over there and, and, and help him out. Help, um, help, um, help her out. And I'm like, no, nah, she's a tough cookie. She'll get it, watch. And I don't want to make it seem like I was part of it. I want her to catch the whole thing and be like, you know, I did it, I reel, reeled it in, it's all good. And the excitement, you can't take that away at all.